Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. I want to welcome you all here on a wonderful day, and we have got the UNSC Combat Unit. This is part two, actually. In the first episode, we unboxed the Mercenary Combat Unit. At first, I was a little skeptical about the set because they only have three figures compared to the old fire teams that had five, but they did impress me after all, especially this Jacqueline Elite. They are really epic figures. But today we've got what I think will be an easier sell for me, the UNSC Combat Unit. I don't really see any way that this won't impress me because, I mean, we've got two new Halo Infinite Marines and the Mark VII. We've got an epic looking turret, pretty basic other accessories, but two muzzle flares and a firing cannon. I mean, this is probably gonna be a treat. So without further ado, let's break into this set. Well, let's try and break into this set. Some of these are sealed up pretty well. Okay, what do we have here? Same as the mercenary unit, the three figures are bagged separately. That's nice. I guess we've also got a comically large instruction manual. Mega Blocks, why are you making it that big for such a tiny set? That is ridiculous. What should we do first? It's got to be the Spartan. All of these Mark 7s I've been excited about. They make a really nice team together. Oh, look at that. Actually, wow, that's... Uh... That's really cool. This black rim sort of effect that's, oh wow, it sort of like blends into the actual base piece, the jumpsuit, that works really nicely. I've not seen something quite like that before. Impressive design, and then pop that in. We've got a lot of black highlights there, that's really cool. Oh look, even the shoulders have highlights. Okay, I'm listening, Mega Bloggs. Oh, you've got my attention. This is nice. And the helmet as well. A really perfect mold there. There's no errors that I can see. That's just perfectly done. I'm actually, yep, I'm really impressed by this one. Please do let me know in the comments if you guys have managed to get hold of these sets. I know they're quite elusive. The same as the Marine Gear Pack. Maybe they're just super elusive because everybody's buying them, but I think it's more likely because Mega Constructs have just struggled to stock it everywhere. I mean, it's a big world out there. Gotta stock it every single place. That's very hard to do. I love this figure. Look at that. Usually, orange is not exactly my favorite color for a figure, but this one works really nicely. Let's have a look at some of these Marines. It's nice to see a Marine coming in a darker skin tone. Yeah, I mean, they do do it, but not as often as white, so that's really cool. Darker brown mustache goatee combo going on there. I'm a big fan. Some of these sets, you know, they haven't been coming with all of the armor pieces that most sets would. I mean, this one as well, it doesn't come with any leg straps, but things like the worst one was the Marine from the Series 1 blind bag. That didn't come with anything. There we go. Really nice Marine. What should we call him? What's up, Jack? Also, those really nice removable helmets. The eyepieces, they've really improved those. They used to look like they were sort of dead inside. Pop that helmet on and you gotta get your brother out of this bag. Here we go. Can't be fighting on your own. Oh, brother or sister, this is a lady. She is looking cool. I'm looking forward particularly to the Marine Platoon Pack. That one comes with so many epic Marines. Really have to push her down or she'll come apart later on. And there we go. They make a really cool team. Identical armors and they're fighting alongside a Mark VII. That is an excellent array of figures. I can't wait to put these next to the Banished Mercenaries in a little fire fight. Ah, look at that. There's my muzzle flares. Muzzle flares being one of the greatest additions to the Mega Constructs arsenal in the last couple of years. Maybe these assault rifles. Oh yeah, this assault rifle comes with the scope that you can slide on. Can you slide it onto the battle rifle? I guess so. That's, that's not bad. Okay, we got the sidekick pistol as well. And then all these accessories with an outrageously large instruction manual. All right, let's build this up. I didn't expect much from this sandbag arrangement, but it does actually corner off nicely, which is more than I thought it would be. You know what? At first glance, I thought it would be much smaller. This is actually pretty decent for the price. I mean, not bad at all. And then we can stack the sandbags on top of each other. I mean, anything that Mega Constructs can learn from the Call of Duty line and then apply it to the Halo line is totally welcome. They've clearly been applying loads of the really cool design elements from Call of Duty especially all the slidable stocks and the brand new marine design. They are all Call of Duty inspired and I love it. 
And it's also been a while, I know they've been in a lot of sets, but it's been a while since I bought a set that came with a flag. And it's a really sleek design, I think that's a new print, not bad at all. Now we've got the turret and I'm excited to see if it lives up to the same name as the Covenant one. The Covenant turret was actually the thing that impressed me the most about that set. And this one, same as the Covenant, has a huge single mold piece that starts the set off. And then when you insert your firing cannon, it sort of pops this piece up ready to fire. And also I love how it kind of looks like it's mid-firing, like it's just about to fire. We've got to layer these around, excellent metallic color. I'm always a big fan of that. And then, woo, that's going to town. Oh yeah, look at that piece as well. That kind of looks like the Master Chief's chest. This firing piece is not exactly part of the design, so it hides it really nicely. These things, always be very careful, they break very easily. Just to make one turret, that's a lot of stages. We're going to clip this in, this as well. Whoa! That is an incredibly impressive turret, I'm not gonna lie. That's a lot better than the Covenant one. I mean, look at that thing, it's, it's tiny in comparison. Damn, this is epic. And that pretty much does it for the set. We've built everything up, now let's display it. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the UNSC Combat Unit. Honestly, I mean, you know, I went into this set knowing I'd be kind of impressed. Like, not particularly impressed in what came before it. I mean, the fire teams that have five figures in were just incomparable to this. But this is still an amazing set. We get a badass turret, a really cool flag, an excellent Mark VII with two Marines in perfect matching style. Without further ado, we just gotta face them off against the Covenant. Or against the Banished, I should say. The UNSC combat unit on one side, mercenary combat unit on the other side. Awesome. They are definitely two pieces of the same puzzle. I'm tremendously impressed with them going off against each other. Would I have wanted one big set? for maybe slightly less than the price of both of these combined. Maybe they have the same box, just reverse of each other, clearly marketed to be sold together. And here they are fighting off. They do look epic and it makes me just want to play Halo Infinite even more. Ah, uh, it'll be worth the wait, probably, as long as no more Bungie leads leave the company. I mean, that's... <laughs> That's where we stand right now. Thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. This was another video with The Domain. You all stay awesome out there, stay safe, and check out my first video of the Mercenary Unit. And then if you guys want, let me know in the comments and I will make a full review of all of these together. And the Mark VII is blasting his way off. He's, he's, he's signing off with a gun. <laughs> signing off. As we start to rebuild, this hillside will remain barren. A memorial to heroes fallen. They ennobled all of us, and they shall not be forgotten. <laughs>